Hi, my name is Linda Ikechuku, and I'm a developer advocate at Small Step Labs. Now at Small Steps, we are focused on building tools and technologies that provide teams with simple and robust PKI workflows for a wide array of use cases. Today, we are going to walk through one of those use cases and explore our new Acme Quick Stats that will have you automating certificate issuance to clients in just a few minutes. This video will also show you how simple and easy it is to run your own internal PKI using Small Step Certificates Manager. Let's get started. We'll start by signing up and registering a brand new team. We'll fill out all necessary information and we'll be ready to go in just a few seconds. Then we'll jump right in by selecting the Acme Quick Stacks workflow presented to us. Now, the first step in this guided workflow has us creating a hosted certificate authority. A certificate authority is the entity in a PKI infrastructure that signs and issues certificate requests. Now, with small step, you can configure and operate your certificate authorities to meet your specific workflow needs. But this quick start is designed to get you running quickly. So we'll accept the default authority name and subdomain and head to the next step where we'll set up our registration authority. Registration authorities are uh, another key part of PKI infrastructure. They act on behalf of a certificate authority to authorize certificate requests. Using this quick start, we'll create and run a registration authority that works with the hosted certificate authority we created in the previous step to issue certificates to clients on our own network. For demonstration purposes, I'll be running my registration authority on this computer. So I'll once again accept the defaults provided here, but you can always change them later. The next bit of configuration is to add our Acme provisioner. In the small step platform, provisioners are methods that enable clients to obtain certificates from an authority. Now, as the name suggests, our Acme Provisioner enables clients to use the Acme protocol to obtain and renew certificates. Certificate provisioners enable powerful workflows through their configuration. And as you can see here, we can adjust some of the parameters used when issuing the certificates. I've just changed the default certificate duration to 12 hours. Now more configuration options are available and are fully described in our documentation and can be changed at any time. Finally, we'll move on to the last step, which is to connect our registration authority. The page we see instructs us to do so with a simple command once we have step and step CA installed. Now, as a reminder, step CLI is a easy to use CLI tool for building PKI workflows and communicating with our hosted certificate manager platform and also a step CA open source server. If you don't have step CLI installed, visit the documentation link in the description below to do so. Moving on, I already have step installed, so I'll go ahead and create my unique configuration token. I'll also authorize the request to modify my authority. When I do that, 
I now have a command I can copy to finish my setup. I'll switch to my terminal to run the copied command. And as I do so, step CA will start a registration authority with the configuration I just provided. When it's done, it will communicate with my certificate authority to let it know that it's ready. And now, if I switch back to the browser, I can see that it is. Now, this page displays more helpful instructions that are going to guide me towards receiving my first certificate with the ACME setup. The first step is to install step. I already have that installed, so I'll move on to the next step, which is to download my root certificates. I'll copy the command and go back to another instance of my terminal to run it. My root has been downloaded and I can switch back to the browser for further instructions. The next step is to choose a certificate client. I'm going to use the setbot utility as my Acme client. The benefit of the Acme protocol is that it is widely adopted. So visit our documentation for based on configuring workflows that involve tools like engineers or Kubernetes. I already have set bots installed, so I'll move on to the next step, which is to create a certificate request. This example set bot command simply requests a certificate for local host. However, you can use your Acme server to issue certificates for any internal workloads or machines that are on your network. As usual, I will copy the command and switch back to my terminal to run it. We've created a new certificate. Now, Let's inspect it using the step certificate inspect command. As we can see, our expiration date is set to the default of 12 hours that we gave to the provisioner earlier. And the certificate has the local host DNS SAN, which we provided in the certificate's requests. The demo you've just seen is just the beginning of what you can do with Small Step Certificates Manager and your new Acme server. Now don't stop there. Continue on your PKI journey by visiting our documentation where you'll find a wealth of guides, hands-on tutorials, and details on topics for other specific certificate issuance workflows. We also have a welcoming community that is eager to help you get started. So follow the links in the description to join our Discord channel and learn more. Once again, thank you for joining me. Bye.